going on YouTube? Blacktop Black Metal here. They say there's always a first time for everything. And indeed there is. This morning I went off without a hitch. I got to the truck at about 5.30 this morning. I'm supposed to take this load over to Elkhart, Indiana. And I was supposed to be there on oh, about half an hour. So my trailer tire blew. Uh, pardon me, I, if I seem kind of spacey, I'm watching these trucks in my mirror because a lot of motherfuckers don't seem to feel the need to get over for somebody who's on the side of the road. Now I can understand if you can't get over, but just flat out not paying attention, flat out just not getting over, that's how motherfuckers get killed. And I don't feel like being that motherfucker today. But uh, yeah, I'm sitting here on the side of the road because uh, I blew a trailer tire. In two years out here, I've never had that happen to me before. I've never blown any tire. Um, yeah, I was just driving along out of my own business and I heard boom! And saw the uh, rubber shavings and chunks come flying out from underneath my trailer. So yeah, this is how my morning's going. Just uh, sitting here. I've been sitting here now for about an hour and a half. But since I'm sitting here waiting for a tire guy to come out here, I thought I'd like to address something. A couple things. The main thing is, if you see somebody on the side of the fucking road, get over if you can or make an attempt. Uh, because this shit's fucking dangerous and I'm sure if it was you sitting on the side of the road, you wouldn't want to uh, have the potential to get creamed by a truck doing 60, 65, 70 miles an hour now, would you? I don't fucking think so. I got my, I got my triangles out, I got my flashers on, and still motherfuckers, they, uh, Still don't feel the need to get over. Uh, it seems like it's two out of every five trucks. They just don't give a shit, and they don't have anybody next to them. So, I mean, if you can't, you can't. If you can, do so. Because uh, I'm just looking out for your job, your safety, and my safety. You know, I don't, I don't feel like being fucking run over today. I'd like to go home cook some steak on the grill. Uh, another thing I'd like to address to the pathetic, whiny, jealous, insecure, pathetic, did I say pathetic? Well, we'll say it a third time. Pathetic uh, bastards out there that like to threaten <laughs> I'm gonna call your company, bro. I'm gonna call your company. Tell me I'll fuck up. I'm gonna call your company. Yeah. Fuck you. Your empty threats and your bullshit. Your. Yeah, your empty threats, your baseless claims. Sitting there saying that I've got a drug problem. Well, how in the fuck did I pass a pre employment drug test then? You want to call me a racist? Why in the fuck am I married to a Hispanic woman? I mean, do you people, like, have brains in here? Do you fucking use them? It's just, uh, just fucking pathetic, man. Oh, look at that, a four-wheeler just went by. Nobody anywhere near him. Did he get over? No, because fuck the truck driver, right? Yeah, baseless claims and irritating whining. I mean, come on. Really? You probably... I don't even fucking know, man. It makes no sense to sit there and threaten to call somebody's company just because you don't like the content on somebody's YouTube channel. I mean, fucking hell, man. Uh, are you religious? Does my shirt offend you? It's making fun of Jesus. It says, and Jesus wept. Does that offend you too? Well, I'm sorry. Did I, did I 
to offend you. Oh my god, I hope I didn't. Grow up, man. To any of you who are fucking making fucking bullshit comments, you know what? This is, uh, this is truck driving. Okay? And I'm sure you're not little Mr. Innocent Virgin who has never said the word fuck before. So... And, and, and this is for the motherfucker that's sitting there telling me that on one of my videos that he just took a big shit and clogged the toilet at Petro. And you want to sit there and call me vulgar? I mean, that's just flat out disgusting, man. I mean, I'm a dude. Talking about shit is just as funny to me as it is to the next guy, but... You want to sit there and call me disgusting and vulgar, but you're going to talk about a big poo-poo that you took? I'm glad that you turned five today. Maybe six will bring you some more maturity. Ah. But yeah, that's just a short video for now. I'm going to go, hopefully, not be run over. And hopefully this tire guy gets here soon so I can go make my delivery. Because I still got to go to the south side of Chicago and pick up a load after this. Hey, thanks, Warner. Fucking Warner drivers. <laughs> I was one of them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get going for now and watch my ass out here, which apparently I need to do so because I have the Confederate flag in my car, which, you know, I'm all for the Confederate flag. It don't, it doesn't mean anything racist to me. I have a lot of family in the South, okay, so it's a heritage thing. Get fucking used to it. Okay, anybody who gets offended by a flag is a little bitch. Uh, I was going to say something. I going to say something. I forgot what I was going to say. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get going. I'm going to try not to get killed. Uh, I think my tire guy is actually pulling up right behind me right now. So, till next time, keep it metal, motherfuckers. See ya.